Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, we're going to discuss separable differential equations. A differential equation is separable if you can write it in this form, dy dx equals f of x times g of y. Basically, you can separate the variables. And when you have something like this, the strategy is as follows. We basically put all of the y's on one side with the dy, and all of the x's on one side with the dx. For example, in this particular case, we could divide both sides by g of y. That would give us dy over g of y. And then we could multiply both sides by dx. That'll give us f of x times dx. And at this point, we integrate both sides, and we go from there. Let's go ahead and do an example. So I'll have dy dx equals x squared y cubed plus y cubed with y of 1 equals 2. We're going to solve the differential equation, and then once we have our answer, we're going to use this condition, y of 1 equals 2, to find the value of c. This is called an initial value problem because we have a differential equation together with a condition, which is called an initial condition. So let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. We'll start by trying to manipulate our differential equations so that we can separate the variables. We have dy dx equals, and you'll notice that we have a y cubed on the right hand side here. Let's try to factor that out. The so y cubed, parentheses, and let's see what do you multiply by y cubed in order to get x squared y cubed. Well, just x squared. And what do you multiply by y cubed in order to get y cubed? Well, plus one. And our goal is to get all of the y's together on one side with the dy and all of the x's together on one side with the dx. So now we'll divide by y cubed and multiply by dx. So we have dy over y cubed, and that's equal to x squared plus 1 times dx. Okay, so we divided by y cubed, multiplied by dx, and we reached our goal. We have only y's on one side together with a dy, and we have only x's on one side together with a dx. Now we can integrate both sides. This integral on the left needs to be rewritten, so let's take this y cubed and bring it upstairs so we have y to a power so that we can use the power rule. This is the integral of y to the minus 3 because that exponent becomes negative and then dy. And this is equal to, and I'm just going to hold off on integrating, so x squared plus 1 dx. All right, let's go ahead and integrate both sides. So integrating the left-hand side, we're just going to add 1 to the exponent. It's going to give us y to the negative 2. Then you divide by the result. That's from the power rule. This is equal to, over here we can also use the power rule. You add 1 to the exponent here, so you get x cubed. And then you divide by the result, so 3. Plus, and then integrating 1, we just get x. Plus our constant of integration, capital C. Let's bring this y squared, uh, y to the negative 2 downstairs. This is negative 1 half times 1 over y squared equals x cubed over 3 plus x plus capital C. Now we're going to use our initial condition. Our condition was that y of 1 is equal to 2. So this means that when x is 1, y is 2. So now we're going to take these values of x and y and plug them into our differential equation and solve for c. Doing that, we have negative 1 half times 1 over 2 squared equals 1 cubed over 3 plus 1 plus c. Everywhere we saw a y, we put a 2. Everywhere we see an x, we put a 1. So this is going to be 2 squared, which is 4, times 2 is 8. So on the left-hand side, we get negative 1 eighth equals, and then here we have 1 third plus 1. So you can think of 1 as 3 thirds, so this is 4 thirds plus c. Right? Think of 1 as 3 thirds. 3 thirds plus 1 third is 4 thirds. It works out nicely. 
And now we just have to subtract 4 thirds. So C is, is equal to negative 1 eighth minus 4 thirds. In order to subtract these numbers, we need to have what's called a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that common denominator the product of these numbers because you can always do that. It's easy. 8 times 3 is 24. So here we want a 24. So I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3. Here we want a 24. I'm going to multiply by 8 over 8. So C is equal to, now you multiply across. 3 times 1 is negative 3. 3 times 8 is 24. And minus 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 3 is 24. We get negative 35 over 24. So that's our value of C. Now what you do is you take your C and you plug it back into your differential equation. When we do that, we get negative 1 half times 1 over y squared equals x cubed over 3 plus x minus 35 over 24. And this would be the solution to our problem. This would be the solution to the initial value problem. So what happens is when you solve this differential equation, you get infinitely many solutions. You know, there's all kinds of choices uh, for C that you can pick. And you'll get a solution every time you do that. So our condition, y of 1 equals 2, basically allows us to pick one solution from this infinite family of solutions. It's the solution that passes through the point 1, 2 graphically. That's the one we picked from this infinite, infinite family of solutions. Let's go ahead and do another example so that you can get better at this. In this example, we have dy dx equals e to the x plus y with the condition y of 1 equals 1. And we're going to solve this initial value problem. Let's work through it. Solution. As before, we'll start by trying to separate the variables. So we have dy dx equals. And so in this case, uh, the thing to do is maybe write it like this. This is e to the x times e to the y. And the reason you can do that is because the bases are the same. Whenever the bases are the same and you multiply these, you add the exponents. So if, we had e, if we have e to the x times e to the y, that's e to the x plus y, which we have up here. And now we can divide by e to the y and multiply by dx. So we have dy over e to the y. And that's equal to e to the x dx. And now we can integrate both sides, right? Because we have y's, only y's in a dy and only x's in a dx. So integrating and integrating. This integral here on the left needs to be rewritten. So let's bring this upstairs. So it's e to negative y because the exponent becomes negative when you bring it up, dy, equal to the integral of e to the x, dx. So this integral on the left is really simple. You can make a u substitution. You can let u be equal to negative y. But I'm just going to show you a formula that's very powerful that you can just apply here. And this is the way I do it. You have e to the bx dx, where b is a positive number, or rather, where b is not zero, <laughs> so it could be negative, right? In our case, it's negative. Uh, this is equal to e to the bx over b plus c, okay? So as long as b is not zero, um, you can do that. So here in our particular example, b is negative 1. So it's just e to the negative y over negative 1. And then here we just get e to the x when you integrate e to the x. We have our constant capital C. So we have, I'm going to bring this one downstairs and pull out the negative. Negative 1 over e to the y equals e to the x plus c. So this is the solution to our differential equation. We need the solution to the actual question, which is an initial value problem. But to find it, we're going to use our initial condition, which is y of 1 equals 1. So now what we'll do is we'll do that. So using the condition y of 1 equals 1, this means that x is 1 and y is 1. So you take these numbers and you plug them into your differential equation. So we have negative 1 over 
e to the one, which is just e, equals e to the one, which is just e, plus c. Solving for c, and writing it on the left, we subtract e from both sides. So subtracting e will get negative e minus one over e. And that's our value of c. And we're pretty much done. We just have to take the c and plug it back into our differential equation. The final answer will be negative one over e to the y equals e to the x minus e minus one over e. And this would be the solution to the initial value problem. Pretty cool. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you've learned some mathematics. If you feel you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck and take care.